Supreme Court of India bench led by Justice UU Lalit today issued notice to the National Investigation Agency on an appeal preferred by activist and an accused in the Bhima Kuregaon violence case, Gautam Navlakha, who had moved court challenging the Bombay High Court order, rejecting his plea for default bail. Senior advocate Kapil Sibyl appeared for Gautam Navlakha. Navlakha has sought bail on the ground that the National Investigation Agency failed to file its charge sheet within the prescribed upper limit of 90 days as per Section 167, Clause 2 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. This case will now be heard next on March 15th. Chief Justice of India, S.A. Bobre, while hearing its Suomoto case regarding the expeditious disposal of Section 138 of Negotiable Instruments Act cases, noted that about 30 to 40 percent of pendency of cases in courts are due to uh, this Negotiable Instruments Act Section 138 cases. It stated that the Constitution of India confers the power on the central government to create additional courts to tackle with such pendency. However, additional Solicitor General Vikram Jeet Banerjee in its submissions before the court stated that the Union of India is not in agreement of creating additional courts. However, certain alternate measures were submitted before the court. Chief Justice of India S.A. Bobre primarily said, stated that according to its prima facie view, such alternate suggestions were not acceptable by the Supreme Court. However, Vikramjit Banerjee made a submission that a committee could be formed having experts and members of several other ministries together to brainstorm on this issue as to how to tackle dependency under Section 138 of Negotiable Instruments Act. This suggestion was accepted by the court and the matter has now been adjourned as additional Solicitor General Vikramjit Banerjee will submit names of which this committee could comprise of. A Supreme Court of India bench led by Justice Ashok Bhushan today heard Government of Uttar Pradesh's transfer petition seeking to transfer gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari from Punjab's Roper Jail to Uttar Pradesh. Senior advocate Dushan Dave appearing for the Punjab government questioned as to how Uttar Pradesh government was invoking Article 14 and 21 violation in its petition before the Supreme Court since it was a state. Senior advocate Dave also questioned that can this be a possibility? that the government of Kerala now approaches Supreme Court and seeks to have Siddhi Kappan transferred to his home state where there are cases pending against him in Uttar Pradesh. However, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta maintained that Ansari was operating his entire business out of Punjab's Roper Jail. He also contended that Ansari was submitting medical documents in court whenever he was summoned to appear before them and stating that he is either having skin disease or some back issue. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta clarified that such medical conditions are afflicting every one of us. The court will continue hearing the matter tomorrow. Well, that's all from the Supreme Court today. Do stay tuned with Supreme Court today tomorrow as well. And don't forget to like and share baranbench.com.